Okay, so we're gonna first start off by ball capping. Um, this is this tutorial, semi tutorial. It's not like all you know, perfect YouTuber is more you know, more chill. You're gonna see me talk, it's a mixture of a voiceover and a talk through. But, anyways, you see me ball capping. Um, I use free spray and a stocking cap. I'm actually using the thicker part of like the pantyhose stocking cap, but like because I ran out. But now you just see me hot combing the wig, all the hair is back on the wig. And now I'm going to just, you know, put some foundation on my own. I dropped some, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just going to put some foundation on my lace because my lace kind of did get a little tinted, a little bit red um, when I dipped it and dyed it. So, yeah. And I'm just going to do that. And uh, my ball cap is drying while I'm doing that. But you're just going to see me take a, take a blow dryer and blow dry it and all that good stuff. Yeah. So after I do that, you guys are going to see me, you know, slide the wig on real quick. I'm just going to like, you know, place it on my head and look at it and stuff. For the most part, it's a unit I've been had. Like, it's probably like going to be like a year old in like two months or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I made it. So I left my tweezers, but did you see like right here, I told you it was like, it could be plucked a little more because it wasn't as sparse as the other areas and stuff like that. Um, Like, for the most part, this unit is glueless, but I don't feel like fixing my band on this side but you see how it's pulling up like a little flap for this size layer of black yeah i pulled the band too far up up here so i'm um probably just glue that down but anyway like i said you see how like thick that is compared to this i'm gonna take my i'm gonna pull it i part it let me go and show you what i did i'm just gonna part a thin row Right here, and I was going to pluck it. Hot comb through to separate and stuff like that. I just put my finger down. Okay, so yeah, you like you see that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like rip some hairs out. Okay, so. So you see how much better that looks. I ain't no thick old piece right there. I could do a little right here, but I prefer to do it right here with the tweezers. So I'm just gonna hold off on it. Or oh, I might go ahead and do a little something. You see this area over here. Um, I can definitely work with that. It's not as bald as it looks, but for it to not look so bald, I am gonna have to remove some hair from right here. So what we gonna do? Part off the line of baby hair right here. And we gonna pluck this and <laughs> yeah. Mm, I don't want this tutorial to be ghetto. Be low key. But um, so I'm just like the hair is really looking on here, so I'm just gonna rip some a few hairs out. I guess like I don't wanna do that, but I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, so like this is a glueless unit, and so like you see like this part lays or whatever, but this part doesn't because I got the um band up a little too far and I don't feel like moving it. I could move it back a little bit and it would be fixed. But whatever. That's my cap, that little white color y'all seeing right there. Cause I didn't put makeup on that part. So let's pull these up. Mm -mm -mm. Pull my ears out. Let me clip some hands to the back. Okay, so my ear tab is up right here, and we're gonna pull this one up as well. So I've been using lately. I've been using even on my clients. I've been using the bow hole glue. Um, what the other one is called? Glow Spun takes too long to dry. Hold on. One Glow Spun takes a little too long to dry, and it's like it doesn't hold as long as um bow hole. So. Boho is in the lead. <laughs> so Boho is in the lead. It really has my thing. So we're just going to, you know, put the little. And it's really like, not a, not a rush video, but, you know, like a quick and more. This is a more intimate type of tutorial. It's not like a, oh, a perfect YouTuber type of tutorial. This is more of a, you know, that type of thing. 
Man, I'm gonna thin it out. I don't like much glue in mine, so like y'all can do the lace, but I take my wigs off a lot, so you know, if you want a more a long lasting hold, I definitely recommend doing layers. So now I'm just gonna blow dry these. So for the most part, it, you see it's clear. It's a little white part right there. Um, I accidentally got some glue right there, y'all. That's what I see. But um, yeah, I'm about to pull it down. Sit that on top of the lace. And there's that for that side. Y'all, that one number like three seconds and that glue already is ready to be applied. So, so take that, pull it down. Like that, straight like that. Okay, so basically the wig is applied. I didn't put no glue in the mid section. It's already tight enough. Um, was well, gonna do a half up, half down with this, but I'm just gonna wait and I'm gonna do that for my actual back to school hairstyle. We're gonna do a video on that. But this is uh, for the most part, when I have glued wigs and I do want a little extra hole, this is what I do. I just glue down my air tabs. So. So now you just see me parting out some baby hairs. This will part there, so I'm gonna part out my baby hairs right here. Put on that big old baby hair. Right there. Right here. Okay. You know, everybody like use the um razor and stuff to make it look more natural, but I actually found out I like this the look that the scissor gives. So I'm just gonna cut it straight across. Straight off the tip. I do my ends with Gorilla Snot, um, or it got to be glue to clear kind, but I use Gorilla Snot when I'm doing, mostly when I'm doing colored hair, or it got to be glue when I'm doing like blonde, flat blonde hair. So I'm just gonna take, you know, some Gorilla Snot. It's just so sticky, it's irritating at times. And I'm gonna start over here, and I'm just gonna Put it on my face right here. See, it's hair right there. Y'all just didn't see it because, like, I guess I was just up here on camera. So I'm just gonna put a little really spot right there. And we'll screw my ends. Okay, so I did that. After I did that, see, you be pretty laid, laid. And I really like this. I'm getting this. Pause.
Okay, so this is the frontal um, so far, basically. When the most part is glue is um, around the top and stuff like that. And the edge, you know, I glued the edge down to give me an extra hole because I don't feel like, you know, I really don't want to take it off. It's going to help me keep my hair down all the time because I really love me doing my hair like I should. So I always take out be glue and I spray across my lace. I feel like that makes it more melted, more scalp like and stuff like that. Like I feel like you, like you don't see it as much once you spray it down with be glue spray. So that's what I'm about to do. In the evening, I'm gonna brush a little bit right here because I do want this part pushed back. If you know what I'm saying, like this part really don't matter, it can get flat, but I do want it this part like that. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get ready to style my hair, but for now, I'm gonna take a satin on um, what's well, really a chiffon, a chiffon scarf. I'm gonna tie my edges down. Scarf off. Um, these are the curls. I got some petroleum gel on my hands, y'all, because I didn't have no oil, so I'm just going like this on top of my hair. And we're gonna run our fingers through this. Just work the bottom up. Run our fingers through these curls. I wish I had my serum for my hair, but we just come on and make it do what we got because I don't really carry hair products to the house anymore, the new house and stuff, because they don't like hair everywhere, so yeah. Okay, and so you know we sprayed the guys to be glue up there. We just go, you know. Brush on, comb a little bit to soften it up, you know. Ah, our baby hairs, we're gonna comb over them, soften them up. I right, did it right here. See, you see, that's real soft, but it still has a shape. And yeah, so here's the front from this side, that side. So this is the frontal in the sunlight. Mm. So yeah, I'm really digging it. I'm loving it. Yeah. I know I didn't got my hair messed up, but yeah, I'm loving it.